Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Persona 5 content. We're going to be probably killing, well not killing, uh, killing is the wrong term. We'll be defeating Madarame today, uh, hopefully. We're going to get into this, I hope you all enjoy, and let's see how it all goes. Let's see if we can uh, beat him without too much trouble. Yusuke, we still need to explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? <laughs> yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Please elaborate. Please okay, elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the phantom thieves are called palaces. Palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. That's crazy. A materialization of their reality. Their desires. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong, distorted desires. Strong, distorted desires. They basically gotta be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Madarame. Only delusions can be... On the say, other hand, like palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. S so that's how it works. That's an interesting take for someone like On. Uh, obviously, I, I knew that. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones yeah, to get I into that world. Yeah, I what talk about. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location. Uh, so, like, Madarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? I just that guess. part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm, I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. I'm glad he does. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. I wouldn't say they're very more yeah, experienced than I you, buddy. Yeah, I covered, newbie. Such an idea. Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Morgana. Thinking back to Matarame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Why not? Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. Oh, we just he likely go won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. Alright, so we just gotta steal Madarame's heart by then? There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Cool. Well, let's let's infiltrate the palace. Okay, let's go. I also think I don't have all the wheel seeds. So that is something that I might I might look up a guide for. Uh, I may not. I'm not gonna say I will. But we'll, I'll consider it. I'll oh consider yeah. It. We haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. Kitsune. Hell yeah. That really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Da Vinci. Nope. Well, you've got that mask like On said, and there's that weird tail. All right, you're Aburage. Aburage? <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it? It's decided then, Aburage. No. Nuh-uh, not happening. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Clown. Oh, just keep it literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. I mean, their names are all very simple. By the way, 
We should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who'll be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No. They should come in as well, but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. Well, we'll see. Yeah! Thanks to all my hard work. Huh? What do you mean by that? Hmm? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Come on, let's get going. Okay, so I think this is the treasure room, treasure hall lounge. Oh, for sure. Hey, oh, it's my app. Yes. Looks like. Hey, there's a strong looking one over there. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. Yeah, I, I think I agree. the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. However, we'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. Nah, we got this. Hey. Hmm? Who are you? How did you get in here? I mean, I'd like to know how you're standing like that. Well, that won't be the case here. Oh. Let's go. Hold on. Persona! You're mine. Oh, they leveled up. Check out this new skill! Rampage. Whew, that guy was tough. I guess that's just par for the course in a palace. It really was on a totally different level from the other enemies, though. Hmm. He dropped some sort of card. He dropped a key card. A skill card. Okay, these What's are this for? skill cards. I've never seen anything like it. Ain't it just some kind of loot? Come on, let's get back to exploring. Pretty much, I mean, there was a katana, so. Indeed. Why deal for him? Uh. Okay, we need a password. One of the scary guards has to have it. Mm. Oh, I was having trouble coming up with a good one. <laughs> I set it to the number. Modern Army's feet? Hmm. Maybe his shoe size. I don't know. Mono. I'll give me the clue I need. He stood alone with his two adapt. <laughs> Hold on. Could this be the spot of Monterey's feet? Ooh. 
one. One ray. So two. So one one two zero. Nice. 